Okay, so I've got my resin mixed for two more sets of coasters, four ounces each. I mixed a little extra to uh, coat this one resin coaster that has the boo-boo on it. So I like to take a, um, one of these silicone paint brushes. I'm gonna heat this. Just helps it move a little easier. I see a piece of gold on top. So that totally hides the boo boo. Put it aside for now. And then even if the, if the resin dries on this, it'll just peel right off. That's the beauty of these little wedge silicone brushes. So I've got, I've got a little extra in my cup, but I'll maybe save it. <clears throat> so the first color I'm going to mix is going to be Etsy Funshine Color Shop Moonlight Shadow. Sounds like a song, doesn't it? Is there a song like that? That's Mica, and then I've got Boysenberry Sparkle by Laura's Art Corner. So this is just, you know, like a fine glitter. This one I'm going to use Peacock Dance by Lorez from Laura's Art Corner. Again, if it looks dried up, just heat it. It's just a lovely, lovely deep turquoise peacock color that is just phenomenally beautiful. So I'm going to put a big scoop in that and So this is a pigment paste versus the mica powder. Um, I always have a tendency to lean towards the mica powders, but this produces such a lovely look as well, at least in the metallics, because I, I always lean towards metallics instead of just a flat color. Look at that pretty, pretty color. And you have to make sure to get that pigment paste off the end of your stick as well as you're mixing. I'm going to put a little sparkle white into this. some Lux Life, which is a green-blue color shift kind of glitter from Counterculture. So very close. This one is just more of an aqua. That's more of a blue. And there's maybe less than an ounce of resin in here. I'm going to put just a little bit of Mermaid Trash Mystic Halo, which is an iridescent mica. It's always fun to just play around and, you know, go with whatever you think might look pretty.
Okay, I'm going to cover these and I'll be back to add the snowflakes and then the final cut of resin. I have these and there's, they're like felt. <clears throat> and I'm afraid, <clears throat> I'm afraid that um, once they're saturated with the resin, they'll look kind of weird. So I don't think I'm going to use these. I'm afraid to. So it's been about two hours since I had poured these and so you want to get it before it sets up so it will stick and then I'm going to flood coat it with clear resin. Okay, so it's been the next day and I'm going to un unmold and then I'm going to use my liquid chrome oil paint pen by Molotow. It's in the Amazon link below the video and outline the top edges. So just a pretty shimmery blue. Now that little bit of clear, um, clearer or lighter inside with that little bit of um, mermaid trash mica that I put in the center. And these snowflakes are different from my last set of snowflakes. So the other snowflakes have that look and these have more of a pointed look. So there's two different styles in the ones that come from Amazon. So I'm just going to unmold and do the edges. Fast forward through all that so you don't have to painstakingly watch everything. Here are the turquoise ones. You can see a little bit of the glitter and then on the back side that's where you really see the glitter because it obviously sinks. So those are gorgeous. They're both gorgeous. I love both colors. The turquoise and the blue. So I hope you enjoyed it and uh, to check out all the links below the video, especially the auction that's coming up November 30th to December 4th in my Facebook group with Heather Mater. Art Healing Hearts Auctions and that's a group that we have created that will be on ongoing and there'll be an auction every few months. Come join and participate and get in on the action. Thank you so much, and I love you all. See you next time. Bye-bye.